and the director of the Oregon Screams Horror Film Festival. And we're here today with director Stephen Paul Griffin from Canada. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good. Glad to have you on board, and we're excited to screen your film uh, August 21st at the Clinton Street Theater in Portland, Oregon. And uh, your film, Banshee, mm -hmm. got very high ratings and mm -hmm. um, an award nomination. So congrats. Yeah, thank, well, yeah, I, I appreciate you guys um, checking it out and um, I don't considering it good enough to, to screen. I'm, I'm really excited to see what people think about it. Good stuff. Well, in your own words, can you tell us uh, what the film is about, the synopsis? Yes. Yeah, so Banshee's about um, our lead character effectively having just committed like a subtle act of industrial espionage and is sort of sequestering herself um, in like a sort of safe house um, kind of cottagey um, place until she hears word from the people that she's working for about sort of safe passage out. Um, and as time gets prolonged and she doesn't really hear anything and the paranoia kind of starts to eat at her, we start to kind of play around with um, whether or not she's alone at that cottage or if the paranoia is just starting to get to her. Um, so yeah, in, in, in as simple terms, it's a, it's very much just a film about um, paranoia and about um, guilt and suspicion. Um, and um, I guess the dichotomy between being trapped and being free and what that really means to people. Yeah. The way you shot it, the way it developed, uh, yeah. what, the, what the judges really liked is just more of a psychological horror. It was just more of a, mm -hmm. you know, a mind screw, if you will. Um, yeah. Is that typically your style or is it something that you went out of the box to do? It, no, I, so Banshee was, Banshee was kind of coming back to a style that I really, really liked back in 2019 when I was making shorts. I made a short that was kind of very much like a similar sort of feel um, to Banshee that was a little bit more like cold case-esque. Um, but a lot of it mainly came from this idea of, um, I have a bit of like an art history background from my university days. And one of the things I always really liked about the um about art history and about painting in particular is the way in which uh, like a composition sort of invites you to lean forward and examine it because it's just this again like kind of concrete still image framed up on the wall and it sort of gives you the opportunity to kind of lean in and and really take in all of the different little aspects about it um that then contributes to the grander whole so it was one of the things that i always liked about in terms of especially in the context of of a thriller or a horror film is just creating a sense of stillness that um, invites an audience to lean forward to look very particularly at whatever's going on because in that way it more or less allows the subtlest of movements to become the biggest moments. Um, so it was something that I initially explored in a, in a short I did in 2019 uh, titled Spike that I then came back to with this where it very much is about um, sort of searching for those small things in the frame that might seem a little inconspicuous, but then just kind of, I don't know, allow the mind to wander and create without me necessarily having to fill in all of these gaps for everyone. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a style in which I, I particularly like to shoot, but I feel like in this, it was a lot more fine tuned than, uh, the initial projects that I had experimented with, um, with this style. Interesting. Yeah, it's an interesting approach to doing things. You talk about working on films since 2019, or at least you referenced one. Where, where did this all start for you? Um, just, and, and I don't even know your entry to the business, whether it was screenwriting or directing or, right. or what, but how did it all start for you? Well, yeah, when I, I, I always had a bit of a, I always had a bit of an interest in, in film when I was a kid and in, in, in high school and whatnot. And I had some teachers who really turned me on to, to, uh, I guess like avid film watching. But then by the time I got to my first year of university, I was going to uh, branch off and be a history teacher and just sort of consider film as more of a hobby. Um, but then I started taking some film classes in my university and then um, went into a little film competition that the group that I was in ended up winning. Um, and then I just decided to kind of hard left turn and just primarily focus on the filmmaking. So I changed my degree and I, uh, I ended up focusing on that through my university career. And then ever since I graduated um, from my university, I've effectively just been 
um, working in Toronto, um, kind of putting my hands in as many different pies as possible. I, I was always primarily a writer and director um, and was very much just kind of independently producing a lot of my own stuff, but we've been lucky enough to kind of move forward with some other projects that have been partially produced by um, uh, some other companies or some other city councils and um, uh, some affiliated grants and whatnot. So um, it's been good, but yeah, I mean, uh, it's, it's, it more or less kind of stemmed from that. And at this point it's just been uh, pushing and evolving and, and experimenting. And it's always the thing that I love about it the most is just consistently putting yourself in uncomfortable scenarios and seeing how you adapt to that and tackling material that I'm not familiar with or experimenting with styles or uh, technical things that I'm not as familiar with either. But yeah, it's basically ever since that point, it's just been kind of full steam ahead, making as much as possible and and, and improving as consistently as I can. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, yeah. that's a that's a bit of a journey. Mentally, I mean, when, when you thought, yeah. of, did you ever just have that thought like, I don't, I don't just like movies. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make one. You know? Did you? I don't know. When you, when you have that thought, when you're like totally outside the industry, was there anything that just inspired you? Like, this is my moment, or just was it kind of something you always knew? I think it was. I, I, it, it feels like it's a little bit more of. It, it kind of comes in in the sense of like an osmosis, I guess, because I, had, I had. I dove headfirst in high school into just watching as many movies as possible and just like working down like IMDb's like best movies of all time list and whatnot, just knocking everything off that I could see. Um, and then trying to get into the, uh, I guess the the logic and the minutia and the reasoning in terms of like why these movies, you know, why these movies would be considered good, why would these be considered bad, the differences and all that kind of stuff. So it was funny because by the time the the first movie that I shot in, university came around um we just kind of I, I i worked on a small script with a friend of mine we only had about i think a week to shoot it because it was all mm -hmm. challenge based it was like including a certain prompt including a, a certain object etc uh so we just made this like black and white like silent comedy um and it was just it was just kind of strange because it would just sort of it jumped into it and it all just felt really natural but it, the only reason it kind of felt natural was because i felt like i had all of this uh, there's all this like osmosis of just like watching films and absorbing um the logic and the the film languages and whatnot that all these different movies um give to an audience that it just sort of felt by that point in time i didn't i wasn't thinking too much about what i was doing i was just sort of shooting off of how I was feeling and what I think would make sense in the time. And because it was so running gun, it was very improvisational in that respect. But then when it kind of came all together in the edit, that was when I was like, Oh, maybe there's just kind of something in like the back part of like my lizard brain that like, I makes me kind of think that I know how to do this now. Um, so it was like, yeah, so it was, it was kind of, I, I blame it a lot on, on, or I accredit it a lot to that kind of cultural osmosis. Um, of just like watching so many films over time. And then once I kind of got that and, and got the recognition for that little film that we made, I kind of was like, you know what? Yeah, I think I can just, I think I'll just ride this out for as long as I possibly can and see how good I can get basically. You know, the recognition is a big deal. And mm -hmm. you know, that's what I feel like at this stage of uh, filmmakers and filmmaking uh, for film festivals like myself, you know, our film festivals don't have feature films. We we do short films for now. Mm -hmm. And um, it's kind of by design because there's just a certain amount of opportunities. There's more opportunities we can give at this level. Yeah. People show up and sometimes when they see their film on a big screen like at Clinton Street or, you know, at Austin Film Society, like our Austin events or something like that, they, I don't know, they get a new wave of inspiration that I see. Yeah. And, I, and I feel like as an artist, like somewhere along the line, somebody encouraged you or you had an encouraging moment, mm -hmm. um, you know, to go forward. Um, I don't know. Do you plan on attending this festival? Is anyone from your team attending this festival? And uh, un un if they un are, unfortunately, with my schedule, I just don't think I'll be able to actually make it to the festival. Um, sure. But I'm trying to see if I can move some stuff around to be able to attend. But as of now, I don't think I'd be able to to swing it. Uh, it's a, you know, it's a, especially, especially in Toronto, it's a very, summers are always massively busy with work. Sure. Um, 
and you kind of got to take when you can because once the snow starts kicking in everybody just wants to stop um <laughs> so uh so yeah i'm gonna see maybe if i can move some stuff around but uh i don't know we'll see well no pressure the world's kind of crazy right now it's a long yeah. way but yeah. in your experience what value do you get at, even if it's attending something local like a film festival that's local yeah. what what value do you gain just from from a live audience feedback it's really just the it's most of the time it, i think it comes down to just the audience reaction because there's only so much that you can do with like sending out your screener to individual people and having them watch other laptops or whatnot but like the the, the theater environment creates such a um uh, such a specific viewing experience for every, everyone involved because there's the kind of social contract that you like enter into stepping into the movie theater of like being quiet and attentive and whatnot and it's one of those things where i um one of the previous films that i did um more or less is like really really quiet and very inconspicuous leading up to sort of one um sort of particular um like character mistake that is like a very small thing but if you're kind of following along it's sort of at least in my mind it's it's this really kind of like big sort of tense moment um and it was something where i i thought watching it over and over and over again i was like i think this works and i think this build up is appropriate and i think this like leans in really well but um we hadn't screened it at any point in any place that was like particularly full um because it did screen at a couple of festivals and a couple of online ones but um the audience wasn't like the theaters were too big and the audiences were too spread out at that point but we ended up in this small little theater where it was fully packed and the uh like the moment that came i felt like everyone sort of like seethe and like suck air through their teeth in like a very uncomfortable kind of way which is again is 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 basically as good feedback as i could get at any in, in any other context because it tells me that for this audience that moment worked exactly how i wanted it to mm -hmm. so i know that what i was doing leading up to that was doing it correctly so from a q a perspective it's great because people can always ask you the questions and whatnot but for me the like the the screening experience in the theater is all just about audience reaction and seeing where people's attentions are seeing if they're fading seeing if they're um being maintained what those reactions are like and then just kind of taking those and moving forward um about like how you can do better or just do more of the same depending on what those reactions are actually like but yeah it's it's a very special experience screening in the theater and and i feel like anybody short film feature film anybody who makes anything should try at least their absolute best to go to one of their own screenings in some kind of theater or, or get there even if it's like a even if you're just screening it yourself for friends and family you should definitely go and see your work in the theater because it's it kind of helps to change your perspective a little bit on on maybe what you think about yourself or think about your own work sure you know? yeah gives you that be able to watch it from the outside kind of exactly yeah exactly so um mm -hmm. all right good stuff well you know hey before we get out of here is there anything you're working on in the future uh, you'd like to tell us about um currently just some projects in pre-production uh hopefully looking to shoot a feature sometime next summer um and other than that um aiming for a short um to be shot that's still being drafted right now hopefully sometime in october or november of, of this coming year so hopefully we'd start seeing that sometime in maybe march or april next year but uh but yeah, really aiming for that feature at this point because I think I'm getting a little antsy with these uh, with the shorts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, good luck in your journey. It uh, sounds like you're you're very busy in the industry, and it sounds like a lot of things are going on, and you're, you're getting a lot of production in. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to enjoy this one again. No pressure to attend, but uh, you know we we can't wait to see it in the theater. The judges are excited about it, and we always appreciate getting getting great films from Canada. Well, yeah, well, thank you very much. I, I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I hope everybody likes it when they get a chance to see it. Sounds good. All right, my man. Have a good one. Yeah, you too. Thanks very much. Thank you.